Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another unboxing. This one is going to be on Mobius Models Batman vs. Superman uh, Batmobile. This one's a really cool, cool kit. Um, real different vehicle. Almost reminds me of an RC car I had when I was a child called the Super Saber. Um, real rugged looking kit. Nice, highly detailed, as you always expect from Mobius. So, let's go check it out. Okay, here we have it. The Batmobile from the Batman vs. Superman uh, movie. This one's a really cool. I saw the big version of this at Wonderfest and it's cool as heck. Um, so it's a really sharp, you know, falling off of the tumbler kind of vibe. That stealthy kind of look to it. But uh, this is another kit by Mobius Model, so it's going to be really nice. Um, Box art is pretty much the same on the three sides. You got the uh, the Superman versus Batman logo on the side here. Dawn of the Justice. Dawn or Dawn of Justice. Um, back here gives you a little uh, thing about the, the movie and the Batmobile itself. Um, it looks like we got authentic detail based on digital visual effects files. Um, complete kit is over 10 inches long, so this is a big kit. Um, cockpit with seats and console, so that's awesome. So let's dig into this sucker and see what it's, what it's about. There we go. Right away, here's our uh, instruction guide. Really cool colored art. Like anything with Mobius, their instructions are wonderful. Start off with the engine chassis. Now, this one looks like she's not a turbine driven uh, Batmobile. And I'm kind of wondering if the 2022 is the other two because it has an engine in the back. I can't remember if there was a little bit of a turbine, but this looks like a uh, you know, V8, souped up V8, something going on here. But it's very cool. And we're getting the tires and everything together and on. And they got shields around the tires, which is cool. Looks really cool. Kind of a, you know, OCC chopper look on the back ones. There's your console and seats. Let's see what we can light up on that. We can get some of these displays lit up and screens, even if they're just a blank. You know, I was looking at the uh, the armored tumbler, and looks like I can get the ones in the dash probably to light, but there, there's one that comes out the, the side door and one that comes up the center console. I guess it's supposed to be able to lift up and down. We're just going to have to, they're just way too thin. There's no way to light it. There's no way to light that at all. Unless you somehow bury a <laughs> some DLED in it, like you know, and putty it, and then kind of make it look like it's a thicker display or something. I don't, I don't know. That would be an option, but you'd still have to be glowing the plastic and, and then making sure the rest of it's all light blocked. And that would be an interesting thing to see to actually. But that panel, I don't know how thick it is, but to see if you can actually bury a. An SMD LED in there and either build it up with putty or uh, styrene or something but but still try to keep them thin a light panel would just not be worth the money to do that but I don't know if you can get a little I don't know if you can get one of these to be buried in there I mean it's almost as thick as the panel is But if you can just get the light buried in, like drill a little notch, a little square, a little hole, stick that in there, and then just putty the rest of the... Yeah, like putty the rest of the light and the wires. And try to get it sanded smooth as much as possible. And that might actually glow the plastic quite, quite a lot. I definitely put a dimmer 
I'd sit there and try uh, different uh, resistors to get it to the right brightness. That might be something I could try. It'd be, it'd be worth a try, just on, you know, regular plastic, see if we can get it to do it. At least see how it would glow. You know, take a scrap piece of plastic and drill a hole and stick the SMD on there and maybe just putty over it and then try to light block where you don't want and see if you can get it to glow that way. That would be a way to do it because the wires would be thin enough to, to hide with putty and stuff like that. So it might be, you know, we'll see. It looks like all their displays are right there and then you're, it's just kind of a normal cockpit dash in a sense, if you could say that normal for this vehicle. But yeah, how cool. Then you even got machine guns, which is definitely funny for a Batman, because Batman usually doesn't have guns. And then I know even the Tim Burton one has guns, and he really used it more for, you know, cutting doors in half and stuff like that. So, but that's kind of cool. It looks cool. I like it. And you got your wings here with all the spider called spider rights and lefts whatever that means it's probably the hydraulics to lift the wings and stuff maneuver those yeah it's going together and there's the wing support and it goes over top there's a lot of cool things they tried to combine it almost looks like an RC car like I had a uh, what was it called it's four wheel drive. I want to say Super Saber. It's been a long time. That's what it reminds me of an RC car. Those four wheel drive RC cars with a tumbler mitts to it, with, you know, with a hydraulic wings, panels, and armor. But yeah, that's, it's fair. It looks like a fairly quick kit, a lot quicker than the uh, tumbler is going to be. And there she is. Here's her paint guy. And they're saying a semi-gloss black. Looks like their paint has a little bit of a flake in it. It looks more like a, uh, a gunmetal than a gloss black. And a gunmetal would look really cool for this car. Because that's what that looks like. Because it has a little bit of a, a metallic. At least a that. Oh, here it says. Body dark gun metal gray. Oh, the semi gloss black is the uh, the bolts on the on there. Yeah, so that's gonna be really cool. I wonder if I can even get away with. Uh... The dark color I used for the uh, Aztec on the uh, NX1 would work really good with that. It's kind of a gunmetal gray. Yeah. I got it right here. I, I maybe might be able to see. I'm not sure. <laughs> Without banging into anything. But yeah, if you look at the Aztec in here, how it's dark. That would work, I think. It might be on a little more on the lighter side than a dark gunmetal gray. More be more on the lighter side, so I'll have to go look, go shop. But I do have a, a dark gunmetal gray that'll work like that. And we might just do that route because I want it to have that blackish kind of but little metallic. So that's that's neat to have a vehicle finally, you know, not just black. All the others are going to be a black. The uh, Tumbler Batmobile, I think it's going to be more of a almost satin, not really any shine to it. I think that's how that one works. This one's, they're saying, uh, body color is specified as, is specified as a dark gunmetal gray, which typically is thought of as having a gloss or semi-gloss finish, especially when a stock or standard paint is used. Actual prop, they actually made a prop. Act, note that the actual prop has a semi-matte finish. 
with a very reflective or sheen, not as cool, not a glossy finish. And that's what I'm thinking. It, it, we, we do like a, a satin, you know, a little bit of a shine, but not much. Builders may wish to use a semi-matte or a dull finish to knock down the shine to make the model more screen accurate. Yeah, I would definitely do that. And that's kind of like with most of them. You know, the 60s Batmobile was very shiny. I think I'll do the uh, Tim Burton one with a little more shine, but not as shiny as the 66, 1966. The, I also have the Batman's Forever. That one kind of has a shine, but I think they're all going to be more in that matte finish. You know, a little bit of shine. The tumbler might go a little more drier because it's, you know, kind of military-ish. And the armored tumbler will definitely be a flat. But yeah, look at that. And there's your detail, the cockpit. They're doing red screens. So I might be able to light them up and uh, do a red and then uh, try to make something look like it's on the screen. So that's cool. And that's basically it. Very, very nice. I don't remember if any of these are clear parts, the headlights, the yellow headlights. Does It, it doesn't have, I don't see any like actual headlights. No tail lights on it. But at least he has so you can, from the front, you can see which way he's going to turn. <laughs> headlights. So those are headlights and they're yellow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that looks really nice. It's going to be cool. But let's look at the uh, actual parts. And look at the tire on this. Look at those rear tires. Very nice. Huge. Even the front ones. The front ones are almost as big as the tumbler's rears. So there you go. There's the massive tires for this kit. Um, clear parts is just as simple as whatever that is. <laughs> There's your canopy on the for the windscreen there, but I'm not sure what those are. They look like little headlights, but I'm not sure where they go, so let's, oh, now I'm curious. Oh, maybe there? There's some spots right there. That might be where they are, and then you got the yellows down there, so where and when they go on, I'm not sure. Let me see if we can get, I don't know how we'd light those. I'm not sure when, where or when those go on. Which is quite interesting, I'm not seeing, is that them there? Yeah, I think that's them there, but I don't think it's going to lead any way of they're kind of part of that front front assembly here. There they are without they're not on yet. And I'm not seeing where it says glue goes on. There, headlamps. Yeah, they just kind of poke through, so there's yeah, there's absolutely no way. They're clear part, so you can just paint the around it and leave the lens part clear. But I don't see any way that's where it gets attached of getting a any type of light up there. Like you would have to drill through that, but then that's just supposed to hang out there all by itself from the, from the way it looks. Yeah, it's like 
you would never get something into that bumper slash wheel guard and then uh, the light is actually glued to the side of it you'd have the clear spot but there's no way to you know that one part just sticks out in the end there'd be no way to get a light up in there now this that's something different but I think that's a molded piece like you just paint it yellow it's not a separate lens front fender front outer fender I could get something in there but I'm not seeing any clear parts for it. So that might bite that we won't be able to do that, but we'll see. There's a lot of massive, massive, massive parts. Here and take a look. They're all kind of be Chinese to me. There's your interior dash, your display screens, and stuff like that. Also, noticing they're giving you no decals for any of that stuff. I don't know about this kit, I haven't seen a decal sheet. But, so, you're gonna have to kind of, once it's way at the bottom for this kit. Nope. Uh, have to do your own thing. But does this have that front bumper on there? Not sure where that goes. There's your that looks like your guns turret stuff. I'm not sure what all that is. There's your guns. These are probably more of the rear ones. There's your different wheels. Details, you know, always amazing. Very cool. Yeah, those are some big wheels for those tires. And that's a different, interesting way of doing that stuff, you know, for them tires. That's pretty cool. But I'm really looking for that front bumper piece, unless it is in here somewhere. And I'm just not paying attention to it because it's it, it is in two parts. That looks more like the, a rear portion. Not sure what those are. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I can get you can look in the book and see if I can find the actual part number. Most of these parts are big, so that's nice. So we can actually display them. There's that spider, what they were calling that spider stuff to hold all the wings here. I'm not sure what all that is. But still in search of the front end here. And I think that's it. I think that's where those lights go. Yeah, that's one part of the front. And that's where those clear lights go. And I don't know, how, you know, there's just no way to get a light in it. I don't know. I mean, if you leave it part clear and you can kind of put something back here, it could make the whole lens glow, the whole part glow white. Like a fiber optic. And then uh, really light block everything outside here might be able to do that I've seen that work I've gotten that to work it's not going to be bright uh, any any uh, sense of the reason but it, it just gives a little bit of light it might just be cool enough so maybe I'll try that stick that in leave that and clear and then put a little SMD in there blast in it you know Usually what I do at first is I paint it silver so that the light going through the clear hits silver and bounces back and then light block with black on the outside. That might be the way to do that. And I could probably sneak that wire and tack it in areas and see if I can get it out of that wheel well. That's the other, the other question. 
because that's where they are and you know they're in that wheel well so it's like can you get that what now to get to get that wire out of there because that's the part there I guess I could and then chase it down this axle hide it in this axle yep yeah I could I can hide it I don't know if those move to steer or if they're they're stable I think I imagine they would be stable but yeah I could always bring that down where's that part again there it is if that sits I'm showing that part like that but then it's this is this side yep so that's that one Fifth. right fender and I'm giving you the number on it that's because it's oh here it's because you put it together first so now I gotta look for 32 to see if I can get that other section lit but so if that's that you have it but then I'll have to sneak the wire around here that's where you won't see it from the outside I have to sneak it down through here and at that point it needs to sneak down that chassis we'll have to see because that's that's a lot to ask so where's 32 is that that right there no nope. I'm sorry I'm taking a lot of time here folks but sometimes I open these kits and I start brainstorming and I should worry about it when it comes to building the model <laughs> instead of on the unboxing but but yeah, well, I guess we'll see what we can do there. Um, it'd be nice to get that to light. Here, right, what's in this one? This looks like a lot of uh, interior parts. As you can see the cockpit bay. Stuff I'm not sure yet, but very cool detail on it. Very nice. Well, there's our top of the driver's compartment. Your disc brakes, your rotors there, part of your engine block there. This is probably interior parts. There's your cool molded seats. Some more framework is that the 32s 32 and 33 yeah it's just a square nothing to yeah that's kind of lame I don't want to just paint that yellow looks like we might have to uh, saw that out and put some uh, uh, window maker in there and maybe see if we can sneak a, a light behind her like I said they're gonna have to dim them down have to put you know a certain resistor that will dim that light down I got yellow lights too and then they also have to light block the heck out of it on the back so it doesn't glow the tire up because I think that goes That should be like that and then wrap around the tire. Like that, I think, or something like that. Where's the picture again? Actually better look at it. Yeah, they are kind of crooked. But there's definitely room in there to do something. It's just that one. The headlight itself. So like I said, we'll figure that out when we get to the building series. I'm gonna try my darndest try to get those to light and there's your bottom of your chassis and 
whatever this is, probably part of the top section. And that's really all that is. A couple small minor shock absorbers or, or hydraulics for stuff. There's some coil springs, but there's your bottom, basically. Very cool. I have really ripped that apart because it's not really much to see there. But hey, this is going to be a cool one too. It's going to be a big one. I think up to 10 inches long they're saying this guy's going to be. So I hope you come back to see the series. We'll see if we can get some, uh, what lighting we can do on this. Might have to do a little scratch building and customizing to get it to work. But I think we might be able to, at least those yellow lights. You know, at least, at least these down here. I think we can get going. Actually, is there a better shot of it? Yeah, I think we can at least get these guys going. I'd like to get those. Even if they're dimmer, but it would be nice. But, yeah, I hope you come back for the uh, build series. Until then, thanks for watching.